So today we're gonna be ranking all the specialist wonder weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. As you guys know, I already ranked all the maps, a lot of people got triggered, already ranked all the perks, already did like all the wonder weapons, the characters, the crew, Misty, she was fire. You know what I'm saying, all of those will be linked down in the description below. I will make sure I drop a big fat playlist link in the description. If you guys wanna check that out after this one, definitely check it out. But in this one, we're gonna be ranking all the specialist wonder weapons in my Nibba Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now some people like to call them specialist weapons, others like to call it specialist winter weapons and we got five of those mother effers and I would say all of them are great except for one which you probably have guessed it, let's be real. And if you did, drop it in the comments right now. But we have these specialist winter weapons for each zombie map in Black Ops 3. I'm not talking about any zombie chronicles map because they reuse the same specialist weapon which is alright but I'm mainly talking about the original Black Ops 3 zombie zombie maps uh, and DLCs, uh, they had unique specialist weapons and all of them are great except for one and I personally like all of them but of course this is a ranking video so we're gonna rank them real hard. So don't be triggered if somehow you start to feel like something is coming up like you're about to get triggered, get a helmet on, it will keep you cool alright that's the solution but real quick I wanna shout out some of the homies that actually subscribe to the channel and I will be featuring some more during the video as well so Nibba I got you. And and if you're new on the channel, hey, make sure to subscribe with notifications and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video. But coming in at number 5, we're talking about the damn Annihilator. Now, there are a couple of reasons I hate this and there are a couple of reasons I like this as well. So it's like really a love and hate relationship. Now, first of all, I like the fact that you get it in the giant just by doing that mini easter egg that doesn't take you long. Let's say if that mini easter egg took you like an hour and you get this in return, then it would be problematic if you know what I'm saying. But that easter egg is really quick, you can easily get it done in under 5 minutes and then you can go ahead and grab yourself the Annihilator which is absolutely for free so in that regards I like it but other than that this thing is not that great I like how thick it is and everything like that but at the same time it doesn't do any damage after round 20 it's completely useless after round 20 and all the zombie chronicles maps they actually reuse this specialist weapon in that basically you get this annihilator from the box in zombie chronicles maps and everything like that which is alright I mean you get something for free let's say 950 points in zombie chronicles maps but this is something that you get in the giant and it has little amount of ammo and very low damage that won't do you any good after round 20 but the reason why I like this thing is because like let's say you got insta kill and you of course you got grenades and you got trip mines obviously if you use them you can clear the whole horde of zombies but let's say you run out of those as well well annihilator can be your best friend and if you use it you can actually easily get rid of those zombies and uh, then you can leave one zombie alive and go hit the box or buy a gun from the wall in that regards it is pretty good but obviously when we're comparing this with other specialist wonder weapons it comes in at our number five spot but coming in at our number four spot we're talking about the damn swords that we got in Shadows of Evil. Now obviously we have the original sword and then you actually go ahead and upgrade it. Number one, you gotta look at the symbol. There are three symbols, alright? Three damn symbols. You gotta look at it, you gotta take a note and then you gotta go in beast mode, do all that crap and everything like that. And then you'll get the Apothecan Egg which is just, uh, you gotta place it on these Cthulhu whatever or however you call them. Like, it's 2017, give me a effing break. So you gotta do that like four times and then you will actually going to uh, get the original sword and then what you gotta do is you gotta upgrade because the original sword it's alright it's not really the best but when you actually upgrade this thing it is really damn good I personally like it and of course it is unique to this map it is really good against the Margua and in order to upgrade you gotta go to your character ritual area let's say you're Jessica you, you know she's fire you gotta go to her uh, character ritual and then you gotta hold square or X if you're on PC you gotta press F and everything like that and you will actually accept the challenge and then you gotta go all, all around the map and there will be like four circles and you gotta place your egg down or whatever I don't know what's that but you gotta do that shit if you know what I'm saying and after you complete that you gotta you will have Margwa spawning in left right front and center you gotta take those BS downs and after that you'll be able to get your upgraded sword now this is not really fun to do especially if you're playing solo and if this map is something that you play every single day upgrading the sword is a no-no like you're gonna be bored out of your goddamn mind 
and it's not even funny. But if you play this map once in a while, it is really fun to kind of like go ahead, upgrade your swords, and uh, actually have them. And it's really damn good because let's say you run out of ammo, you can use them, you can kill the Margwas with it as well. And especially if you got insta kill, then you can actually use it. And even if you don't have insta kill, you can still use it, and it's really damn effective but coming in at our number three spot we're talking about the Ragnaroks now first of all we got Ragnaroks DG4 or we got introduced to Ragnarok DG4 in their eyes on draft which is one of my favorite zombie map of course my favorite zombie map in black ops 3 zombies you guys can let me know what's your favorite map in the comments but the eyes on draft has to be my favorite zombie map in Black Ops 3. Of course, uh, Kino Der Toten is just like my favorite map that is just oh. But Rags were actually introduced to us in the Rise and Drag, and of course, my boy Revelation actually reused it. You actually get Ragnaroks uh, from the box in Revelation, so it's like you don't even have to do anything in Revelation, so that's that. But the way you get it, you need to get like three parts. Number one, you gotta get first part by actually killing the Panzer, the second part you get by activating the death ray, you gotta fly from the Wonder Sphere, and the third part you get by going to the rock. Pocket pad so you need three parts and then you can actually go ahead and build it and this thing got two effects and I really damn like them because they are super super helpful on high rounds let's say you got stuck and you got the shield obviously you're gonna turn around you're gonna let zombie hit your shield and in the meanwhile you can activate your rags and you can actually fly with those rags and you can slam on the ground and it will kill all the zombies and they worked really damn good and I had zero problem using this thing on high round you can also place down on the ground which is kind of like uh, it's gonna act like a defensive sort of weapon for you and you can also use your weapons with dead wire or maybe even the electric bow and this is gonna protect your back you can put it right in the middle and this is gonna make sure the zombie cannot come near you and it is really damn good absolutely love the Ragnaroks that comes in at our number three spot but coming in at our number two spot now this one actually goes neck to neck with Ragnaroks if I had the chance I would place the Ragnaroks over Gauntlet of Siegfried because Gauntlet of Siegfried is uh, not that great in attack, or I, I mean in terms of damage, but it looks really damn good. It has a lot of variety. You can use the punch, the thunder fist, and it is really damn good. It gets the job done. If you're getting stuck, you can use it, and you can actually fly away, and you can get rid of zombies. You can actually uh, go further. It's gonna help you survive, and it's gonna let you come out of those sticky situations very, very easily. So in that regards, I really damn like this thing. And you also get a baby dragon to sit on your arm, and this specialist wanna wrap and it's just straight up fire. I really love this thing. It looks really, really cool. I would say this is probably the best in terms of uh, looks and everything like that, and also in terms of like abilities and in terms of effects and the damage I would say it's like it's very sort of like neck to neck with the Ragnaroks I would say it's kind of like uh, of course it's out of our number two spot but if I had the chance I would place it somewhere between number three and number two as like a 2.5 if you know what I'm saying but uh, uh, you get a baby dragon to sit on your arm and you can actually make him breathe fire so it acts like a flamethrower that will kill zombies but this is probably not the best effect because uh, after around 20 it's not gonna be effective, but it still can kill zombies It's gonna take a little while to kill zombies, but it still can get the job done And also you can make the the dragon fly away and he's gonna shoot all those flamethrower Or he's gonna spit fire basically and that can kill some zombies And you also get the thunder fist which you can use in the meanwhile to kill zombies and it works really damn good and I personally really like the gauntlet of Siegfried it looks really damn good and of course it fits the map perfectly and of course it is unique to Gorat Krovi and like I said it works really damn well but coming in at our number one spot now this is going to be a mother effin banger now we're talking about Zetsubu Nishima and if you know me I don't like this map I really don't like this map it's uh it's really it, I just don't know like the thrashers ruined this map for me big time but other than that there are some things that I absolutely love about this map like the pack punch camo for example I also like the the mama spider that you have to fight. I also like the Easter egg ending, cutscene, and everything like that. And in general, the map is unique, and the flower system, which is something that, or not the flower system, the the plant system. I personally don't like that, but at the same time, I like the fact that it was unique to this map. But the only reason I don't like this map in general is because of Thrashers. They ruin the fun for me every time I want to play this map, and uh, it's like they spawn more than once every single round, and that's like absolutely a. <laughs> 
But in this map, we have something by the name of Skull of Nun Sub, and that's the only thing that's great about this map, and obviously, it's at our number one spot, so this is by far the best specialist weapon ever. You have two effects, you can actually stun the zombies, which means if you're getting stuck, you can use this thing and no zombie will touch you, alright? And you can use the secondary effect to actually kill the zombies. Of course, this was patched, and prior to the patch, this was really damn good. Now, it's just that you burn out ammo, or whatever you call them, the Skull of non or ammo, right? You burn them really fast, but at the same time, the damage that you get with Skull of non it is unbeatable. Absolutely love this thing, and of course, you're actually holding the skull in your hand which is absolutely mind-blowing right so I really like this thing it's like 10 out of 10 IGN but let me know what is your favorite specialist wonder weapon in the comments right now mine is definitely gauntlet of Siegfried then I would say skull of non Sapphire, rags swords and then the annihilator but let me know what is your favorite in the comment section right now check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed any of them subscribe if you happen to be new and if you did enjoy this video smash that like button and I'll see you very freaking soon.